Hello, fifth grade. How are you doing? It is Friday, May 22nd. Today we are on page 31 in our 5A book in Prime Scholastic Math. Today we're going to continue learning about the concept of order of operations. If you didn't catch the lesson from last time, page 30, please check out the video on YouTube so that you can understand this concept. Today we will be learning a little bit more difficult problems, and it's important that you understand those to be able to do the next step of, of the problems, okay? We're going to actually start today by watching a brain pop video. Uh, the brain pop video is about the order of operations, and you'll know exactly um, what's going on uh, after you watch the brain pop video. Just that order, okay? What goes first and what goes second and so on. Mmm, pie. What kind of pie is it? Oh, blackberry is my favorite. Um, aren't you supposed to put the filling in the pie before you bake it? Dear Tim and Moby. Okay, so you'll notice that Moby was making a pie. But unfortunately, Moby forgot to put the blackberries inside of the pie, okay? Which resulted in a very deflated looking pie, okay? Which is not a good thing, right? He felt bad. He didn't do the correct steps, all right? When we don't do the correct steps in order of operations, we're going to have some problems. We're going to run into a couple of issues. So I'd like you to try to listen to see what those steps are to follow in order to do these problems, the order of operations. Dear Tim and Moby, how can I remember the order of operations? From Anthony. Well, as Moby can tell you, doing math is a lot like baking. You can't just do the operations in any old order. Let's take a look at a string of operations. The items inside parentheses come first in the order of operations. You do the stuff inside the parentheses before anything else. Next come the exponents. 3 squared is 9. Multiplication and division are next. You work those from left to right. And addition and subtraction come in last, from left to right. And we're done. Well, if we ignore the order of operations, there's no telling what we'd end up with. The order of operations ensures that everybody ends up with the same correct answer. Hey, good question. When you come across multiple operations inside parentheses, you do those in the correct order, too. Then you do the stuff outside. So, once again, parentheses, then exponents, then multiplication and division, and finally addition and subtraction. Well, there are easier ways to remember this. Alright, so we understand that first we do parentheses and then exponents. Now in fifth grade, we're not going to be looking at exponents inside of order of operations. Later on in sixth grade, you probably will see them more often. But for today's purposes, we need to understand to do multiplication and division first, whichever one comes first, and then addition and subtraction, okay? Uh, let's go back to page 31, and let's do a couple of problems together. So, if we look at the first couple of problems, boys and girls, we'll notice that they include both multiplication and division, as well as addition and subtraction, okay? So we're going to actually look at the first problem and see what we should do first. I know that we should start with division and multiplication, so we're going to start with 24 divided by 6 first. That's going to be our first step. Then I see addition and subtraction, but we always go from left to right. Okay. Since we go from left to right, we're going to go with this next step, 70 plus whatever answer we had, and then our final step is going to be subtracting 4. Okay, so let's do that. Um, let's actually just do this in black. Here we go. 24 divided by 6 is our first step. So what is 24 divided by 6? 24 divided by 6 is 4. Okay, so that's going to be our first part of the problem, 4. Now we're going to go to step B. B says that we're supposed to do 70 plus whatever we came up with in this first step. That would be 4. What is 70 plus 4? 
74. Okay, now we're going to do step C, which is subtracting. Step C wants us to take whatever we came up with in the first part of the problem, which is 74, and subtract 4. 74 minus 4 equals 70. So our final answer is 70. All right, let's do step B. Problem B is similar to problem A because it has both a mix of multiplication and division and subtraction. Um, what we're going to do first is we're going to do the division because that is part of our order of operations as we've been talking about. That's our step one, our first step, step A. Then we're going to be multiplying 12 times 2. That's our step B. And our third and final step is going to be that subtraction that you see right there. Make sure you don't forget that little symbol is very important because that's our third and final step. Step A again is 125 divided by 5. Now I know that 125 divided by 5 is the same thing as 5 times some number which will give me 125. If I multiply 5 times some number, which is 25, that's going to give me 125. Or I could count by 25s. 25, 50, 75, 100, 125. I counted 5 times. So this first part of the answer is 25. Okay. Now that I know that, let me write that a little bit better. Now that I know that, I'm going to do my second step, which is 12 times 2. 12 times 2 is pretty simple just to do inside of my brain. It's just 12 plus 12, or 24. Now I'm ready for step C, which again is the subtraction. I take step A, 25, and subtract it from step B, 24. 25 minus 24 equals 1. So my answer, my final answer, is 1. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. I'll put it in a different color so you guys can see that. So we have 1 as our answer for letter B. All right. What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to do step problems C and D on the next part of the page, and then check your answers. So you're doing letters C and D on the next page, next part of the page, and then you're going to check your answers. Okay, hopefully you paused the video and you were able to do letters C and D. Um, we're going to erase all of this. Let's continue. Let's check our answers, okay? What did you do first on letter C? Hopefully you did the division first. 60 divided by 4, and then the multiplication second. Whatever that was, uh, multiplied by 3, right? We're going to multiply that by 3. That's our second step. At the way end, you can come back to this subtraction and subtract 160 minus what you got. So let's do that. Step A has 100, I'm sorry, 60. Uh, divided by 4. Well, I know that 60 divided by 4 is the same thing as 4 times some number, which is going to give me 15. 15 times 4 gives me 60. I can also count by 15. 15, 30, 45, 60. So that's going to be 15. Okay? We have 15 right here. 15. All right, let's continue. Step B has us doing multiplication. We're going to take 15, which we just found, and multiply that by 3, which is right here. And there are 3 right there. 15 times 3 equals 45. All right. Step C. I'm going to put that right over here. Step C has us subtracting 160 minus our number that we found right here, 45. All right. Uh, you could probably do this in your brain if you really wanted to, but I will do it on the screen just to check. 
0 minus 5 we can't do, so we come over to here to our 10s. This becomes a 5, and we bring our 10 back over. 10 1s minus 5 1s is 5. 5 10s minus 4 10s is 1. And 1 minus 0 is 100. So 115 is our answer. All right, let's do letter D. What should we do first? Well, I see two addition problems right off the bat, but we're not going to bother doing those problems right away. We're going to go and jump right to our multiplication. That's going to be our first step. What is 30 times 2? 30 times 2 is 60. Okay, now we're going to jump back to our addition problems. Since we already know that this right here is 60, we're going to now plug in our numbers, 32 plus 8 plus 60. You can do that all in one step if you really want to, or you can do it step by step. So, what is 32 plus 8? That's 40. So then we just need to add 60 plus 40. This part right here was 40. And this part right here was 60. So now we're just adding 40 plus 60. 40 plus 60 is 100. So our final answer is 100. All right. I'd like you to pause the video and do the next couple of problems that you see um, on this page, which would be letters E and F. So go ahead and pause the video and do letters E and F. Okay, hopefully you did letters E and F. You paused the video and you did these on your own. We're going to check your answers. Letter E has multiplication and subtraction, so we're going to actually do the multiplication first. This one first, and then this one next, because we always do things from left to right. All right, so let's do that first multiplication, and then later on the second one. First multiplication is 72, right? 9 times 8 is 72. And our second multiplication is 60. 6 times 10 is 60. So what are we going to do with these two numbers? Hmm. Well, we need to remember that there is a small little subtraction sign right there in the middle of our two steps, right? So for step C, we need to subtract 72 minus 60. 2 minus 0 is 2, and 7 minus 6, 7 tens minus 6 tens is 1. So our answer is 12. All right, those are pretty simple. Did you do letter F? If you didn't do letter F, pause the video and do it so you can check your answer. The first thing I'm going to do is my division. Even though we have, I'm oh, sorry, no, sorry. I thought that was an addition sign. We're going to do the 7 times 8 first because that is to the left, OK? I um, probably would come up with the same answer, but that's OK. This is our first step, and then this would be our second step. The division is our second step. We always go from left to right. So 7 times 8 is 56, and 24 divided by 8 is 3. What are we going to do with those two numbers? Well, our third step is this, uh, an addition problem, so we're going to add, right? So let's do that. Let's add 56 plus 3. 56 plus 3 equals 59. So your final answer is 59. All right, we are just about finished. We are going to erase these. And I would like you to one more time pause the video so that you can do these last problems on your own and then check them. All right, hopefully you did those problems. We're going to now check them to see if you did them correctly. Um, on page 31, we're going to go to letter G. All right, letter G says 63 divided by 9 plus 
20 divided by 10. Hmm. What should we do first? Well, let's do the division first. It's also to the left. So 63 divided by 9 is our first step. 9 times 7 equals 63. So this is 7, right? Now our next step is our division, 20 divided by 10. 20 divided by 10 equals 2, because 2 times 10 equal 20. And I know that 9 times 7 equals 63. We need to understand the reciprocity between multiplication and division so we can understand these problems a little bit better. Okay, we shouldn't need our multiplication tables. You'll notice I got rid of it on this, this slide. Our last step is going to be our addition, just like the previous two problems. So you see that addition, addition problem right there? That's our last step. Letter C is going to have us add 7 plus 2, which obviously we can just do in our brain, which is 9. Okay. Let me just make sure I did that correctly. I can use the calculator to check this if you really need to. Let's check it. It says 63 divided by 9 equals 7. And I'm going to clear my calculator because I can't do 7 plus 20. Uh, 20 divided by 10 equals 2. And 2 plus 7 equals 9. We have the correct answer. All right, let's do that last problem. Hopefully you did it on your own, and we can check it right here. I know that um, we're going to start with our division. 35 divided by 7 is going to be our first step. Then our next step is going to be the multiplication, because that's, that's next, right? After that, we're going to jump right back to this, this subtraction problem. It's going to be our third step. And then we cannot forget to do that last step, which is subtraction. Okay? So our first step has us doing 35 divided by 7. I know that's 5. 35 divided by 7 is 5. Okay. Our next step is 7 times 2. 7 times 2 is 14. So now that we know 5 and 14, we can continue on to the third step. That third step is going to have us subtract. So we have 52, and I'm going to rewrite my problem. It's important that we do that. 52 minus 5 minus 14. Okay? We've finished this part of the problem, and we finished this part of the problem. These two are right over here, this one and this one, those two numbers. Okay? And our two subtraction signs are also in our problem, right? Right here and right here. Okay, so now we can continue and just finish up the problem. What is 52 minus 5? Well, you could count backwards if you really needed to. 52 minus 5, 47. Now we have 47 minus 14. What is 47 minus 15? Uh, well, we can take 7 minus 4, which is 3, and 4 minus 1 is 3. So our final answer is 33. All right, boys and girls, that concludes the lesson for today. But what I'm going to do is show you a couple of games that you can play so you can understand this concept even better. Okay? Um, one game that you can do is found right on Instagram, right there. This is actually a problem that Mr. Joseph has shared on the Instagram page so you can understand the order of operations a little bit better. It is a little bit more challenging because you have to really look closely at some of the details. Also, another one that you could play is mathplayground.com, order of operations. Um, this will help you just understand plugging in basic numbers. But the one that we're going to be playing today is called abcya.com. Okay, I already have it right up on the screen right here. Uh, so we're going to play that.
brain pop video, it showed us that parentheses go first, and then multiplication and division, and then addition and subtraction. So uh, I'm going to click on 1 plus 2 first. That's in parentheses. 1 plus 2 is 3, so I'm going to move that over. or 15 divided by 3. Well, I know, we always start from the left and go to the right. 2 times 5 is... Okay, now what? Division, for sure. 15 divided by 3 is 5. And lastly, our subtraction, 10 minus 5 is... We got our first clue. So you can continue this problem on your own again at abcyacom slash game slash order of operations. So I'm glad that you were able to tune in during the lesson for today, boys and girls. Next time we'll work on page 32. And if you have any more questions, you can ask Mr. Joseph. Make sure you review how to uh, do square roots and also how to do exponents okay we will we'll do some review next time but you should know that that was featured in the last video but other than that um, we will see you later and have a great weekend